Okie doke. So, to color your vellum, so I use, this is just tracing paper. Um, there's a lot of different uh, papers that you can use. All you need is this wonderful clear paper, the kind of frosty paper. And depending on what you're using will determine what kind of weight. So this is 90.95. Um, I actually, for my envelopes, would use 100, 120, probably 120. But um, I found this pad, and my other pad is somewhere. So we're just going to use this as an example. Now, to make an actual envelope, I use my envelope punch board. Uh, a lot of the scoring boards have devices in them that you can use to do an envelope or just do in an envelope any way you want. So right now I'm just going to focus on how to color your vellum. So now this does take some special uh, stuff. Let me get this tag off because it's got a tag right over the name. Um, this is called Dorso Oil. And it's simply, it's used to do pergamano or embossing on vellum, tracing paper. And ooh, now I got it all over me. So dorso oil. It's a lemon oil. When you use this, you're going to love it. It smells so good. <laughs> Every time I open my folio now, I get this wonderful little lemon scent. It's not overpowering, so it won't kill you. But it, there is definite lemon. So you have an, if you have an aversion to a lemon citrus smell, yeah, I wouldn't use it. But it is a very nice smell to me. So all I need is this. Now there's a, diff, a lot of different things that you can use for your color. I have found that these um, water-soluble wax bars, these are from Derwent, but the uh, maker doesn't matter. What you're looking for is water-soluble wax bars. So the um, just waxy crayons, if you will. I have found this, together with the Dorsa oil, to be the best method for coloring my vellum. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's actually better than all the different ways that I have tried. Um, there are ways to color vellum if you're, for instance, if you want to just color, uh, especially if you're doing purple mono, you've made a little flower and you can color. There are pencils that work so much better for doing that. But to color the whole vellum in one, you know, color, this is my preferred method. So you can see there are just little wax crayons, and we'll pick a color. Go with red. And depending on how dark or light is how much you either use up your oil or your crayon. So if I go, I'm just going to, and I'm not going to be perfect about it because I'm just going to get some color down. What I do is I want a paper towel. I'm just going to fold it up to make myself a nice little corner piece. And then open my oil. I'll be careful with this. It can come out kind of fast. But I make a little circle. And what I do is I just kind of squish it around a bit just so it's not quite as concentrated. And then little circles. Now you can see it immediately breaks up that crayon and is coloring my vellum. Now if I've got this too dark, I don't like how dark it is, I can add even more oil and really rub it in. So you can see if I spread it out, it's getting lighter. And if I add more oil, I can, I can actually, if I put, use enough oil, I can take it all off as well. So let's say you were doing this and it turned out really bad. You can use the oil to eventually even take it off. And I usually just rub until I've got the lines from the wax crayon gone. If it's not dark enough, I can just go back over it and just keep doing that until I've got it the color that I like. And of course you can mix your colors so I can put a little bit of purple over here. I'm going to just open this up and take a different spot. So when I you know, came through the paper towel so I can still use it. And I can kind of blend 
those two together so I can have my colors transition. And again, as much oil as you need to get the color that you like and get me that some beautiful colored vellum that matches any color that you want. Like I said, if you put your colors together, just like on the color wheel, you can get the color that you want. So, like I said, I have tried other methods for the overall coloring, not just in, you know, individual coloring. And this I recommend. So, wax, crayons, and some dorsal oil. Or, I'm guessing, I've never tried anything other than the dorsal oil, uh, but it's just a lemon oil. If I can see the ingredients. Uh, nope, doesn't have the ingredients on there. But it's just lemony. So, anyway, you can get this anywhere that you get Pergamano. Um, you can look up Pergamano. Um, get that close, and that just goes fuzzy, doesn't it? But it's Pergamano. Um, there's a lot of stores that have it. You can get it on Amazon. Pretty standard for whenever um, you do Pergamano. And so you can get this just about anywhere. So, And the wax crayons. There's all kinds of different wax crayons. You might want to try them out. I do recommend these. You can see they work really well. The pigment goes nicely and it doesn't leave streaks, which I like. Um, but any wax crayon should do the same thing. What it is is your, the, the dorsal oil breaks down the wax in the crayon. That's what gives you this beautiful color. And so you want that waxy bit in the crayon for the dorsal oil to work. So, so there you go. And that completes, I believe, everything that we did in the folio. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you got some inspiration. Please check out her paper line. Um, everything's going to be in the link below. And again, I'm going to be making a really nice video on doing those seals. I was doing all kinds of things with the seal. So look for that. That's coming up. Hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Bye.